We are in Georgia and David. We quit our jobs to travel full-time around Mexico with our 14-year-old Sheltie Poo Meep. Our goal is to take a picture with her in front of 100 Pueblo signs. All right, so today we are going to do a little uh, self-guided tour of San Miguel de Allende. Georgia made a bunch of uh, uh, spots on a map, and we're gonna go check out some different churches and different buildings and just see what's around the city. Yeah, it's about 10 a.m. on a Tuesday morning, and I would definitely suggest starting early because as you can see behind us there, the roads are fairly steep uh, and the sun can be pretty intense. So right now it's a little easier. Something else to note, this time of day, about 10 a.m., there's gonna be a very narrow uh, line of shade that you can walk on the sidewalk right now. So I'll start burning out here as well. Behind us here, you will see the most iconic church in San Miguel and possibly the most iconic church in Central Mexico, which is the Parroquia de San Miguel Archangel. We've uh, seen it from a few rooftops and we've definitely seen it walking around town. We haven't seen the inside, so we're gonna head in. to the parroquia is the Iglesia de San Rafael. Like literally right next door. Almost could be the same building. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head in. by the local Mercado, but it wasn't quite open and set up yet. Uh, we are now in front of yet another church, which is the... Iglesia de San Francisco. <laughs> Nuestra Señora de la Salud. Is that a mouthful? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to remember all the names of the churches. David's doing a great job with it. I'm just going to let him continue. <laughs> Google helps. <laughs> We are off to the Ignacio Ramirez Market, which has groceries as well as food stalls. After, we walked next door to the San Miguel Market, where I found something I've been looking for. 
selection of hats and belts and shoes and uh, things for your kitchen and, and tires for your bikes. Yeah, everything you could possibly need. <laughs> I picked up a hand beaded bracelet before heading over to the Artisania market. San Miguel is known for its community of artists and this market didn't disappoint with all of the home decor and souvenirs you could imagine. Stop, the Templo de Purisma Concepcion or the Temple of the Immaculate Conception. This could either be your first or last stop depending on where you're staying. After all of this walking, we were pretty hungry, so we doubled back to visit Inside Cafe. We each had a cocktail, Georgia ordered a delicious Monte Cristo grilled cheese, and I had the El Sunnyside, which was a perfect balance of sweet and savory. Also, the views from the roof weren't half bad. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe. Next week, we'll be releasing a video going over everything we did during our 28-day stay in San Miguel, as well as costs and an Airbnb tour.